I started as a raft guide on the Ocoee River and I didn't know anything about it, but they hired me and so I went out there and started guiding. The environment is like a bit intense. It's almost like comically exaggerated and um, people can be really intense about like who's the best guide, who's been around the longest. It's like a very strict hierarchy. Most things, like who gets the most trips and stuff like that goes by seniority. I wanted to kayak like as soon as I started guiding, but I was like way too scared. So I had a friend who had an inflatable kayak and I started borrowing theirs and taking it on like half laps on the Ocoee. And then I bought my own inflatable kayak, which was super expensive, but it was a good investment because it like got me on the river. So I wasn't like worrying about borrowing people's gear and I could go whenever. And so I started out going with like James River Women, which is a women's paddling group in Richmond. And then I finally got my own hard boat uh, just a few weeks ago. River karma is definitely real. If you put good vibes into the river, I do think it comes back to you. I got my boat because someone that I work with just gave it to me to learn on. They said that the same thing happened to them. Like someone gave it to them to learn on it because it's like a, a river runner. It's more stable. It's a pretty forgiving boat to learn with. So they gave it to me for free and now I'm riding that out and I feel obligated to pass it on to keep the good karma going. I think like the idea of river karma definitely helps build community because it reminds you to like look out for other people because they're going to be the ones looking out for you. Even when like introducing people to white water or helping people out can feel like irritating and tedious because like there's some things that you just have to learn on your own. It's like good to remember that looking out for people will come back to you.